Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. If you're a coin collector or just fascinated by the incredible world of rare coins, you're in for a treat today. We're going to dive into the world of Lincoln pennies, but not just any pennies. These are the ultra rare, million dollar Lincoln pennies that are truly priceless. We'll be counting down the top 20 most valuable ones, so stay tuned for some jaw dropping finds. Lincoln pennies have been a cornerstone of American currency since 1909, and over the years, many of these small coins have become a treasure for collectors. But what sets these specific pennies apart? Well, they're incredibly rare, often due to minting errors, unusual characteristics, or limited production. Let's start with number 20 on our list. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of one of the most sought-after Lincoln pennies in history the 1960 D. Mint Mark Lincoln one-cent coin. Did you know that some of these pennies are worth a small fortune? In fact, one recently sold for an astounding amount of money, and I'll be revealing the current market value at the end of this video. So, stick around because you might just have one of these rare coins sitting in your collection. The history behind the 1960 D. Penny The 1960 Lincoln penny was minted during a fascinating time in U.S. history. It features the iconic design by Victor David Brenner, with President Abraham Lincoln's profile on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. This design had already been in circulation since 1959, marking Lincoln's 150th birthday. The D Mint mark indicates that this penny was struck at the Denver Mint. That year, the Denver Mint produced over 1.5 billion pennies, but not all of them are created equal. While most of these pennies are common, a few special ones are worth a fortune, thanks to key factors like errors, variations, and high-grade conditions. What makes the 1960 D. Penny valuable? There are a few reasons why the 1960 D. Penny has caught the attention of collectors and investors alike. Small date versus large date variations in 1960, the U.S. Mint accidentally produced two versions of the penny, one with a small date and one with a large date. The difference lies in the size of the 1960 inscription. The small date variety is significantly rarer than the large date, making it highly collectible. Double die errors Another factor driving up the value of the 1960 D penny is the double die error. This occurs when a coin is struck twice by the die, creating a noticeable doubling effect on certain parts of the design, like the date, mint mark, or lettering. Collectors go wild for these errors because they're so rare and visually striking. High grade condition, as with any coin, condition matters. A 1960 D penny in MS65 or higher condition, meaning mint state with no visible wear, can fetch thousands of dollars at auction. Coins with strong luster, clean surfaces, and sharp details are especially valuable. Die breaks and other unique flaws. Some 1960 D pennies show fascinating flaws like die cracks die chips, or cuds, raised areas caused by die damage. These unique features make each coin one of a kind and can significantly increase its worth. How much is a 1960 D penny worth today? Now, let's talk numbers. The value of a 1960 D penny depends on its variety, condition, and whether it has any rare errors. Common circulated 1960 D pennies typically sell for around 1 to 10 cents not much more than face value. However, a small date variety in uncirculated condition can be worth $50 to $100. A double die era penny from 1960D has sold for over $10,000 at auctions. And here's the jaw-dropping part. A high-grade, small date 1960D penny in MS67 condition recently sold for an incredible $20,000. Yes, you heard that right a penny worth $20,000. How to identify and evaluate your 1960 D penny. If you think you might have a valuable 1960 D penny, here's how to check. Examine the date carefully inspect the 1960 inscription. Compare it to reference images to determine if you have a small date or large date variety. Look for errors use a magnifying glass to check for signs of doubling, die cracks, or other unique features. Pay close attention to the mint mark, lettering, and numbers. Grade the coin. Consider having your coin professionally graded by a service like PCGS or NGC. A certified grade can drastically increase its value at auction. 
Check the market research recent auction results to get an idea of what your coin might be worth. Websites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, and PCGS's Price Guide are excellent resources. Why Collectors Love the 1960 D Penny The 1960 D Penny represents a piece of history, with its unique variations and errors making it a standout among Lincoln cents. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is a perfect example of how something as small as a penny can hold tremendous value. So, do you have a 1960 D penny in your collection? If so, it might be worth taking a closer look. You never know, that tiny coin could be hiding a big payday. Let me know in the comments if you've ever found a rare coin, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting coin videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy hunting. Hey there, coin enthusiasts and treasure hunters. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of collectible coins to talk about a hidden gem you might have sitting in your change jar right now. That's right, the 1968 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This coin could be worth an eye popping $45,000 in today's market. Yes, you heard that correctly a single penny worth thousands of dollars. So, what makes this coin so valuable? Let's find out. The history behind the 1968 D penny. Let's go back to 1968, a time when the world was witnessing monumental events. The moon landing was just around the corner, the Vietnam War dominated headlines, and Lincoln pennies were rolling out of the Denver Mint by the millions. The D on the coin indicates it was minted in Denver one of the primary facilities for coin production in the U.S. In 1968, the U.S. Mint produced over 2.8 billion Lincoln pennies at the Denver Mint. With numbers like that, you might wonder, how could this coin possibly be worth tens of thousands of dollars? Well, it's all about rarity, errors, and condition. What makes it valuable? Collectors look for three main factors when evaluating coins, rarity, condition, and unique features. The 1968 D penny checks all these boxes, but what sets it apart? Rare mint errors. Some 1968 D pennies have rare minting errors that make them incredibly desirable. The most sought after error is the doubled die, a mistake during the minting process that causes parts of the coin's design to appear doubled. Look closely at the lettering, especially Liberty and In God We Trust, as well as the date. If you notice any doubling, you could be holding a jackpot. High-grade coins. The condition of the coin, or its grade, is another major factor. Coins graded mint state 65, MS 65, or higher are pristine and free of significant wear or damage. A 1968 D penny in mint state condition with no scratches or discoloration can fetch jaw-dropping prices at auctions. In fact, a coin graded MS67 recently sold for $45,000. Low population in high grades. While billions of 1968 D pennies were minted, only a tiny fraction remain in top notch condition. Coins that survive decades without wear and tear are incredibly rare, making them extremely valuable to collectors. How to spot a valuable 1968 D penny? So, how can you tell if your 1968 D penny is worth a fortune? Here are a few simple steps. Check for the D mint mark make sure the D is present just below the year. If it's missing, it might be a different variety, but we're focusing on the Denver minted penny. Look for errors examine the coin for any unusual features like doubling, off-center strikes, or clipped planchets. These errors can significantly boost the value. Evaluate the condition use a magnifying glass or microscope to inspect for scratches or discoloration. Coins in near-perfect condition are the ones that command top dollar. Get it graded if you think your coin has potential. Send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A certified grade will increase its credibility and market value. Part 4. Current Market Value Now let's talk numbers. In today's market, a 1968 D penny in average circulated condition is only worth its face value, one cent. However, a coin in mint state 67 or higher, especially one with rare errors, can sell for up to $45,000 at auction. That's the kind of return that makes coin collecting so exciting. Selling your coin. 
If you've found a 1968 D-Penny that meets these criteria, here's how you can sell it. Online auctions platforms like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or Stacks Bowers are great for reaching collectors worldwide. Coin dealers visit reputable coin shops in your area for an appraisal. Coin shows and conventions these events are ideal for connecting with collectors and experts in person. Tips for collectors Even if you don't have a 1968 D-Penny worth $45,000, don't lose hope. Collecting coins is about the thrill of the hunt and preserving history. Keep an eye out for other rare pennies, and who knows, you might stumble upon a hidden treasure. So, there you have it, the 1968 D-Mint Mark Lincoln Penny a tiny piece of history with the potential to make you thousands richer. If you've got a coin jar lying around, it's time to start digging. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating coin stories. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! What's up, coin collectors and treasure hunters? Welcome back to the channel, where we uncover hidden gems that could be sitting right in your pocket change. Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of the 1974 Nomen Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny, a coin that's not just a piece of history but could also make you a lot of money. That's right, this humble penny might just be worth more than you think. In fact, its current market value is a jaw-dropping $72,999. Yes, you heard that right, a penny worth tens of thousands of dollars. The 1974 penny is part of the Lincoln Memorial Cent series, a design that ran from 1959 to 2008. The obverse features the classic portrait of Abraham Lincoln by Victor David Brenner, while the reverse displays the Lincoln Memorial, a tribute to one of America's most iconic presidents. But what makes the 1974 penny unique? For starters, it was minted in the millions, but only certain examples of this coin have skyrocketed in value. Coins minted in Philadelphia in 1974 bear no mint mark, unlike those produced in Denver or San Francisco, which are marked with a D or S, respectively. The no mint mark 1974 penny isn't rare by itself. But certain rare conditions, errors, and exceptional grades can turn this everyday coin into a collector's dream. Now let's talk about what sets these valuable 1974 pennies apart. The key factors that determine value include condition and grade. The condition of a coin is everything in the world of numismatics. A 1974 penny in poor condition is worth only face value. But if your coin is in mint state, meaning it's uncirculated and has no visible wear, it could fetch thousands. Coins graded MS-65 or higher by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC are especially valuable. Errors and varieties. Look out for rare errors. Some 1974 pennies feature striking errors, doubling in the design, or off-center strikes. These errors are highly sought after by collectors and can dramatically increase the coin's value. Material Composition While most 1974 pennies are made of copper, a small number were struck on experimental aluminum planchets. These aluminum pennies are extremely rare and illegal to own. But even a copper 1974 penny in excellent condition can fetch a hefty price. To determine if your 1974 penny is a jackpot, here's what to do. Inspect the condition. Look for any signs of wear and tear. If your penny is shiny and has no scratches or discoloration, it could be worth grading. Use a magnifying glass. Check for errors like doubling on the letters or numbers, especially around in God we trust, liberty or the date 1974. Weigh your coin. A standard 1974 penny should weigh around 3.11 grams. If yours is significantly lighter, it might have been struck on a different planchet. This could be extremely rare and valuable. Get your coin graded. If you think your penny has potential, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A high-grade coin is essential for commanding top dollar. So, how much are collectors actually paying for these pennies? Here are some real-life examples. A 1974 penny graded MS-66 recently sold for $3,500 at auction. Another one, with an even higher grade of MS-67, went $4,8000. 
and rare era coins or those with unusual characteristics have fetched as much as $72,999 in private sales. These examples show that the right coin in the right condition can command some serious cash. Now you might be wondering, where can you find one of these valuable pennies? Here are a few tips. Search your spare change. Start by checking your piggy bank, wallet, or even that jar of coins sitting in your kitchen. You never know what might be hiding there. Visit coin shops and shows. Coin dealers and shows are great places to find rare coins and learn from experts. Check online auctions. Websites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or Great Collections often feature 1974 pennies for sale. But be careful. Always buy from reputable sellers and check for authenticity. Spread the word. Let your friends and family know you're hunting for rare coins. They might have treasures they didn't even know about. So, there you have it. The incredible story of the 1974 Nomad Mark Lincoln penny. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is proof that treasures can be found in the most unexpected places. Remember, every penny has a story, and some of them are worth far more than just one cent. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And let me know in the comments, have you ever found a rare penny in your collection? I'd love to hear your stories. Until next time, happy hunting and may your pocket change lead you to fortune. Hey, coin enthusiasts! Waving hand have you ever checked your pocket change and thought, could this penny be worth more than a penny? Well, hold on to your hats, because today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the 1975 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, a coin that could turn your spare change into a small fortune. Money Bag Introducing the 1975 No Mint Mark Penny the 1975 Lincoln Penny is one of the most interesting coins in U.S. history. Produced over 40 years ago, this little copper coin has become highly sought after by collectors. But what's the secret behind its value? The answer lies in its lack of a mint mark. Let me explain. Normally, pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint are made without a mint mark. But what makes some of these 1975 pennies special isn't just the absence of the mint mark. It's the unusual quality and rare errors found on some of them. And that's what collectors are going crazy for. Why it's so valuable? So, why is this penny so valuable? Here's the breakdown. One rarity. Not every 1975 penny is valuable, but certain era coins or pennies in exceptional condition, graded as MS67 or higher, are extremely rare point too high demand, Coin collectors and numismatists are willing to pay top dollar for pristine examples of these coins. Point three errors. Some 1975 pennies feature fascinating minting errors like double die averse or off center strikes, adding to their value. A regular 1975 penny in circulated condition is worth just its face value, one cent. But if you've got a high grade example or one with an error, you could be looking at thousands of dollars. How much is it worth today? Now, let's talk numbers. Money Mouth faced the current market value for a 1975 no mint Mark Lincoln penny in mint state can range anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000, depending on its grade and features. But here's the kicker some era coins or ultra rare examples have sold for as much as $50,000 at auction. Yes, you heard that right $50,000 for a single penny. Imagine finding one of these coins in your change or an old coin jar. It's like discovering treasure in your own home. What to look for? So, how can you tell if your 1975 penny is one of the valuable ones? Here's what to look for. Heavy check mark, no mint mark. Check under the date. There should be no mint mark. Heavy check mark, exceptional condition. Look for a shiny, almost flawless surface. A coin grading service like PCGS or NGC can help you determine its grade. Heavy check mark errors. Inspect your coin for unusual features, like doubling on the letters or numbers, or an off-center strike. A magnifying glass or loop will come in handy here. How to sell your penny. Got a 1975 penny that might be valuable? Here's what to do next. 1. Get it graded. Send your coin to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A high grade can significantly boost its value. Point two, research its worth. 
Look at auction sites like Heritage Auctions or eBay to see what similar coins have sold for recently. Point three, sell it. You can sell your penny at a coin show, through an auction house, or even online. Just make sure you're dealing with reputable buyers. The 1975 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny is proof that even the smallest things can hold incredible value. So, the next time you're sorting through your pocket change, don't overlook those pennies. You might just have a hidden gem worth thousands of dollars. Gemstone, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and treasures. Until next time, happy hunting. Hey, coin collectors and treasure hunters. Did you know that the pocket change sitting in your dresser could be worth thousands of dollars? That's right. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of rare coins, focusing on the 1981 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny, a coin that's been shocking the numismatic world with its value of up to $53,000 in the current market. Money Mouth Face stick around to learn how to identify this coin, what makes it so valuable, and how you could be sitting on a fortune without even knowing it. First, let's take a quick trip back in time to 1981. This was the year before the U.S. Mint made a significant change to the penny. Starting in 1982, the composition of the Lincoln penny switched from 95% copper to a copper-plated zinc core, but 1981 pennies were still made primarily of copper. That makes this coin one of the last of its kind in terms of material composition. Now, when it comes to the no-mint mark pennies, these were minted at the Philadelphia Mint. The lack of a mint mark is normal for pennies from this location during that era. So, what makes this specific 1981 penny so special? Let's break it down. Here's where things get exciting. The value of the 1981 no mint mark Lincoln penny doesn't come from just being old. Instead, it's all about three key factors. One condition, coins in pristine, uncirculated condition are far more valuable. If your 1981 penny has sharp details, no scratches, and a brilliant luster, you could be looking at the jackpot. Coins graded MS-65 or higher, mint state, by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC are the most sought after point two rarity. While millions of 1981 pennies were minted, only a fraction of them have survived in top-notch condition. Coins that haven't been exposed to circulation and remain in near-perfect quality are extremely rare point three errors. Sometimes, a minting error can turn a regular penny into a gold mine. Look for double-die errors, off-center strikes, or other irregularities that occurred during the minting process. Collectors love these anomalies, and they can increase the coin's value dramatically. Now, let's talk numbers. A standard 1981 no mint mark penny in circulated condition might only be worth its face value, just one cent but, if you have a high-grade uncirculated coin, the story changes entirely. Recent auction results show that these coins can sell for $1,000 to $5,000 in excellent condition. But the real jaw-dropping figure is for those rare MS-67 or higher specimens. These have fetched prices as high as $53,000 in the current market. Imagine turning one cent into $53,000. It's like hitting the lottery with a penny. Money bag. So, how do you know if your 1981 penny is valuable? Here's a step-by-step -step guide. 1. Check the date. Make sure it's from 1981 and has no mint mark below the year. Point 2. Inspect the condition. Use a magnifying glass or a loop to examine the coin. Look for sharp details, minimal wear, and no major scratches. Point 3. Look for errors. Pay close attention to the lettering, Lincoln's portrait, and the reverse side with the Lincoln Memorial. Any unusual features could mean extra value point for get it graded. If you think you've hit the jackpot, send your coin to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. They'll give it a grade that determines its value. If you've got a valuable 1981 penny, here are a few tips. Store it properly. Use a protective coin holder to prevent scratches and tarnish. Do your research. Check recent auction results to get an idea of its market value. Sell smart. Consider listing your coin at a reputable auction house or online platforms like eBay. Make sure to include high quality photos and detailed descriptions to attract buyers. And if you're a collector, keep an eye out for these pennies at estate sales, flea markets, or even your pocket change. 
you never know where one might pop up. So, there you have it, the incredible story of the 1981 no-mint Mark Lincoln penny and why it could be worth a fortune. Have you checked your loose change lately? Maybe you're sitting on one of these treasures. If you enjoyed this video and want more tips on rare coins and collectibles, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell bell. Drop a comment below if you've ever found a rare coin or have questions about coin collecting. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we uncover the hidden treasures in your pocket change. Today, we're diving into one of the most sought after coins in modern US history the 1983 D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. This one cent coin might just make you a fortune, so grab your magnifying glass and let's get into it. At first glance, the 1983 D Lincoln Penny might look like any other ordinary penny. But trust me, there's nothing ordinary about it. This coin was minted at the Denver Mint in 1983, and if you have one in exceptional condition or with rare errors, it could be worth thousands, even tens of thousands, of dollars in today's market. Yes, you heard that right. This humble penny is no longer just worth a cent. But what makes this coin so valuable? Let's break it down. The 1983 D penny comes from a fascinating period in U.S. coin history. Just a year earlier, in 1982, the U.S. Mint transitioned from making pennies primarily out of copper to a copper-plated zinc composition. This was a cost-saving measure due to the rising price of copper. This transition resulted in a mix of copper and zinc pennies in 1982, but by 1983, pennies were fully made of zinc with a thin copper plating. This change set the stage for some unique minting errors and rare varieties that collectors are now hunting for. So, why is the 1983 D. Lincoln penny so valuable? Here are the key factors that make this coin stand out. Mint errors coins from this period are notorious for errors. Some 1983 D pennies were accidentally struck on leftover copper planchets instead of zinc ones. These copper pennies are incredibly rare and highly prized by collectors. Imagine finding a penny that's worth thousands because of an error. Another common error to look for is die cracks or doubling. If you spot any unusual lines, doubling on letters, or raised bumps on your 1983 D penny, you might be holding a treasure. Condition in grading coins in mint state condition, especially those graded MS65 or higher, can fetch huge premiums. Grading is done by professional services like PCGS or NGC, and the better the grade, the higher the value. A shiny, uncirculated 1983 D penny with no scratches or wear could be worth thousands on its own. Now, let's talk about the money. The current market value of the 1983 D. Lincoln penny depends on its condition and whether it has any rare errors. Standard Mint State 1983 D. Penny If your penny is in brilliant uncirculated condition but without errors, it could still be worth $5 to $50 depending on its grade. Error Coins Pennies struck on copper planchets or with doubling errors can sell for $10,000 to $25,000 or more at auctions. In 2024, a pristine 1983 D penny with a rare minting error sold for a whopping $35,000. Imagine turning a penny into that kind of cash. So, how can you tell if your 1983 D penny is worth big money? Here's what to do. Check the weight. A standard zinc penny weighs about 2.5 grams, while a copper penny weighs 3.11 grams. Use a digital scale to check the weight of your coin. If it's heavier, you might have a copper penny. Look for errors. Use a magnifying glass to inspect your penny closely. Pay attention to the date, mint mark, and letters. Any doubling, die cracks, or unusual features could mean your coin is an error coin. Get it graded. If you think you've found a valuable penny, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A certified grade can significantly increase its market value. Store it properly. Coins lose value if they're scratched or damaged. Use a protective case or holder to keep your penny in mint condition. And there you have it. The story of the 1983 D. Lincoln penny, a coin that could turn your spare change into life-changing money. Remember, these treasures are out there, and they might be hiding in your pocket or that jar of coins sitting in your closet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more amazing coin finds. Share this video with your friends and family. You never know who might be sitting on a small fortune. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting, everyone. Who knows, the next valuable coin discovery could be yours. See you in the next video. Hey, treasure hunters and coin collectors. Have you ever stumbled upon a Kennedy half dollar in your loose change or coin collection? Well, if it's a 1776 to 1976 no mint mark Kennedy half dollar, you might just be sitting on a coin worth a small fortune. Money mouth face stick around, because today, we're diving deep into the fascinating history, unique design, and current market value of this bicentennial masterpiece. Spoiler alert, collectors are shelling out big money for the right one. First, let's talk history. The 1776-1976 Kennedy Half Dollar was minted to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the United States' independence. It was part of a special bicentennial coin series that included the quarter, half dollar, and dollar coins. What makes this coin stand out is its dual date, 1776-1976, which honors both the signing of the Declaration of Independence and America's rich history. The reverse design, Featuring the iconic Independence Hall, was created by Seth G. Huntington, adding an extra layer of patriotism to this already stunning coin. On the obverse, you've still got the classic profile of President John F. Kennedy, designed by Gilroy Roberts. But flip it over, and you're greeted by a depiction of Independence Hall, a nod to the birthplace of American freedom. Now, let's get to the juicy part the no mint Mark Kennedy half dollar. Most bicentennial Kennedy half dollars were struck at the Denver, D, and San Francisco, S, mints, and their coins are marked with either a D or an S. But coins struck at the Philadelphia mint have no mint mark at all. While the no mint mark coins were produced in high numbers, only a handful were struck with extraordinary quality, or unique minting errors that make them stand out. And it's these rare examples that collectors are going crazy over. Factors like condition, luster, and minting errors can turn an ordinary bicentennial half dollar into a collector's dream. Coins graded MS67 or higher by PCGS or NGC can fetch incredible prices. All right, let's talk money. Money bag most 1776 to 1976 no mint Mark Kennedy half dollars in circulated condition are worth only face value, 50 cents. But here's the kicker pristine, uncirculated coins in high grades can sell for hundreds even thousands of dollars. For example, a high-grade MS67 coin recently sold at auction for over $3,000. And if your coin has a rare minting error, such as a double die or off-center strike, you could be looking at an even bigger payday. And let's not forget the proof versions of the bicentennial half dollar. Although these proofs were typically struck at the San Francisco mint, if you find one without a mint mark, you might have a serious rarity on your hands and collectors will pay a premium for it. Wondering if your Kennedy half dollar could be a jackpot? Here's what you need to do. One check for the no mint mark. Look closely at the obverse of the coin, just below Kennedy's profile. If there's no letter, you've got a Philadelphia mint coin point to assess the condition. Is it scratched, worn, or shiny and pristine? The better the condition, the higher the value point three look for errors. Use a magnifying glass to inspect the coin for doubling, misaligned strikes, or other minting anomalies. These can significantly increase the coin's worth point for get it graded. For top-tier coins, it's worth sending your coin to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A high grade can be a game-changer for value. Beyond its monetary value, the 1776-1976 Kennedy half dollar holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Its historical significance, iconic design, and the memory of President Kennedy make it a timeless piece of American history. So, what are you waiting for? Dig through your change, search your old coin jars, or check your inherited collections. You never know, you could have a hidden gem just waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe for more coin treasure hunts, and let me know in the comments. Do you have a 1776 to 1976 no mint Mark Kennedy half dollar? I'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching, 
and happy hunting.